Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to make your own BFB characters in Blender. So first, open up Blender and then click General. This will make a cube. So let's say you wanna do wall cube, right? Well, we can download like the body from the BFB that we can import it. Like add, add image reference. Now we can select our block image which I have on downloads right here now let's set it up now make sure this is only this is without the outline or else this process will be kinda difficult yeah. but to make it more accurate just do this so like size it down so you can generally see the outline now why you may ask well that's the question will be answered uh, in a bit, so let's sit down a bit, like do that, and boom, we have ourselves a cube. Now, you might notice something, and that is, if you change it to your mode to render mode, you might notice that there's lining, and we don't want that. So, what we're gonna do is first make a material for the cubes, like for Bob. So, first things first, make the material. So, for this material, make sure this is a mission. And then we can select the color. So make so like first uh, select your image and then go to like uh, and like and then like go oh, color. So just go to here like color. Make sure you like hold up. Make sure this is like the color of the cube. So let's make this kind of smaller. So we can like that. So so click this button. And then select this color and boom. Now you may notice that it's not doing anything. And why is that? Why is it not working? You may ask. Oh, that oh, because we need to do go into view position and boom. Look at that. Now you may notice something that is it's not the exact color. How do we fix this? Really simple. First, you need to have this properties kind of open and then go to render and make sure you go to color management. Make sure instead of AGX standard design, and look at that. We have fixed the color issue. It's simple as that. This is something that nobody mentions this, but like it's really useful. Like and not, it's not even on the donut tutorial. That's how crazy it is. Okay, good. Yeah. Now we get the tool. Now you might notice. Wait, this is just a cube. How do we add the shading? Well, go to make sure to install UK Paint. If you don't have it installed. I will leave a link in the description of the video as to how to install UK Paint in your computer. And like, if you if you downloaded that, go to Edit Preferences or another thing in Mac, I think settings actually. Then go to Add-ons and search up UK Paint install. Then select to your download UK Paint and make sure it's a zip file. Make sure it's a zip file. Then in the search bar, search up UQ Paint, and there. Now I activate this and I say check out. Now go to Texture Paint, and you might notice, oh no, what happened to the color? Don't worry, just do this. Do this instead. Now you may notice our errors, so like missing textures or link detected. Now why is this happening? You may ask. But that, that, that's that's because uh we need to like. Hold up. We you need to like add. Uh, like a yeah, you need to add a new material. Actually, no, just press N and then go to the UK Paint section and quick UK Paint mode snow design. And boom, make make sure this emission is not an icon of blender, depending on your stencil mask. Obviously, now make a new layer, make sure there's a new image. And I'll make it, I don't know, 248 by 248, so it's like kind of quality and stuff. And na name this like up, like shading uh, or something. Make sure this is linear. And make sure the UV is UV. Then oh, press OK. And now we can paint. But you might notice, and that is it's really blurry, so how to fix this? Well, go to File, make sure to click this one. And it's not, it's not. It's more accurate now, as you might notice. Now, how could, and now we can paint. So, like, paint the space, and you might notice something, and that is, 
it's really laggy. Now this is normal when you're used to being like it's, it's actually really laggy. But let's say you you're doing it like this. Now you might notice something and that it's going on south. So how do we fix this? Well, go to go to first go to edit mode. Okay. So instead of so go here, click R, press tab, as I like to do. It. Well, edit mode, and then select. And then press A, select every vertex. Then actually select the, this face, for example, or maybe this face. Actually, yeah, this face. Now let's make it. Now make sure to select it. Okay. Then go and then then go to texture paint and make sure this button is clicked. Okay. Now you might notice everything except this face is a little bit wider. That's normal. Now select the color. Select now here we can like in this to add a new tab like that and make sure this is like uh image ID okay now the image needs to be new like no 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 need open and then open up another reference image which is the bucky which is this one over here. Now this block he has the bottom part and the top part or left part, I don't know. I'm getting confused. Sorry about that. So first uh we need to do the eyedropper tool and select that. Now we can do paint buckle bucket and it's white. Why does it have it? Well we need to select the first and there. Now why is the pink now why is it still pink? Just check this off and boom. Look at that, we have made successfully the bottom part, the top part. Now you might notice, and that is, it's, it's only for the top part. How do we make it so it's along, or like to the bottom and the left side? Well, we can do the same trick, but we're gonna select multiple faces. So select that one, now select this one, and this one. But do not select these two, or it will, it will look bad. Or, or maybe you can use this or this. It really doesn't matter, but I like to do it like this. Okay, so then go to texture paint, make sure this is ticked off, and then go, and then we're gonna like eye drop. Make sure it's like the blocky side. No, wait, the blocky. Now we can pin this if you want, so it doesn't disappear. And then select this clip, and boom, there we go. Now we have done it. Now we have done it. Okay. It's bulky, and you might notice something, and that is, there's no, there's no actual, like, there's no actual, like, there's no actual, like, yeah, how does it, there's no, like, it's, it's so boring, like, this is so boring, right? Wait, hold on, it, it looks better like this, actually, let's go to the mod, and change it, it looks better like this, to be honest, it looks better like that. It looks better like this, to be honest. So let's go to edit mode and do this, this one, and it looks better like that. Like only the front face is like actually like that. Now, now we can actually paint. So you might not. Now don't do that, that face. It will look wrong, to be honest. Like it doesn't look that good. So these that to like this way, the text paint, I like make sure they're like the base color. So this. Let's click that, and it looks much better now, right? Yeah. Now when you can press one to go to like the front view, that's before like from the with, with the key pods. If you don't have one, and you try about it, you need a keyboard. Uh, anyways, uh, what was I gonna? Oh yeah, press five to do this. Okay, so go to zero. No, not one, and then press five. Well, now you might notice, and that is, where's the online goods thing, you may ask. And the answer to that question is, we're gonna make it right now. So, uh, before we do that, make a new material. Make sure it's a new material. So, new, and then make sure it's animation 2, and then select the, select the, the like, do this, and then the image editor, the image editor, the like, image, oh, and like, Make sure it's black side and there now select the outline color. Select eyedrop tool, select the outline color. 
I look at that. You might notice that where's the outline? Well, we're gonna add it right now. So, like, for cubic objects like eraser, block, and stuff, you don't do solidify for the outlines. Instead, do a wireframe. Now, it will look like this. And you may ask, why does it look like this? What happened to my cube? Why is it like that? Why not? Just uncheck this. And it's, and it's bad. Uh, and it's bad. Now, make this thickness as you want. So, like, for the thickness, I'm just gonna do this. Okay, do like that. You might notice something that is why is it not doing so? We want to. Okay, so to fix that, make sure it's even. And we are good. Alright, that it's even. Now, boundary 2. Now, material. Check. If you have two materials, put it in one. If you have three materials, put it in two. And so on. And so, on. so I have two materials. So let's put it on one. And look at that. It has an outline now. Now it's too big. Too big actually. Let me turn this down a little bit. Let me turn this out and then maybe go like a little bit bigger and boom. We have done it. We have done blocking 3D. And that's the end of the first part. The second part coming soon, like real soon. I I explain how to do like circular objects or like more complex stuff. So bye.